this app, we're going to use Google Maps to get some directions between two points. There are two ways to add a Google Map to your Android app. One is to use an intent object, and the other is to build a map activity inside your app. We're going to do one of each of these in this app. The first one we're going to show you, though, is the much easier one, which is how to use an intent object to display a map from inside your app. This is all the code you're going to need to get directions from two points and display them along with the Google Map uh, on your app. So I have a fresh new project here. I've created this new method called init and I've created this intent object. Intent objects as a reminder uh, can be used to launch one activity or app from inside your app or activity. And here we're creating this intent object and we're using this URI parser which takes regular human readable text and turns it into something, a URL with parameters that a uh, parser can understand. So one of the things it does, for example, is it takes these blanks and replaces them with percent %20, which is the ASCII equivalent of a blank, and does other kinds of modifications to this readable text string so that it will be uh, more familiar to a parser. We're going to add some flags and categories to make it a little bit more obvious to the launcher exactly what kind of uh, activity we want. Here obviously we want the Google Maps activity. And then as soon as we say start activity uh, with this intent object, it's going to automatically launch the map and provide us directions. Now here you can see that only the destination address is specified, so it's going to assume that the source address is wherever we are. If I wanted to, I could also put in here SADDR and then put in here uh, some other address and it would start from there. But for now, let's leave that out and just assume that we want directions from the current locations to the Empire State Building. So I'm going to run this now. And here is what comes up. And this is the familiar map with the route laid out. Now I'm running this on my emulator and the emulator thinks it's located in California even though I'm building this app from Stamford, Connecticut and it's going to give me directions uh, from California all the way out to the Empire State Building. There are a couple of choices I can pick from and let's say I pick this one. Uh, it's going to get started and this is the familiar Google Maps that you've seen on your phone and if I bring this up I can see the list of directions and go step by step etc. Okay, so that is one way to create a Google Map. Let's look at the other way now. Here I am in the Start screen for Android Studio, and to create a project with a map built in, we are going to launch a new project. And we're going to call this the My Directions. going to leave everything the same. Now normally we start with an empty activity but this time we're going to start with a Google Maps activity and this will allow Android Studio to fill in a lot of the necessary work that we have to do. When we fire up the project with this we'll see uh, some of this work that Android Studio has already done. Looking at the project that was created if we go over to the manifest and open up the Android manifest XML file we see the first item that Android Studio has filled in for us, which is to uh, provide a fine location permission for this app to use. If we use course location, uh, then we can use the cell towers to get location. But if we want to use the GPS satellites, we have to uh, use the access fine location as shown here. So this is something nice that's already done for us by Android Studio. And this is the fresh new Maps project that Android Studio has built for us. Now, Android Studio has done a lot of work behind the scenes so that we don't have to do as much work. We have one huge task that we do have to do to get this project to run, which is to get all the permissions from the Google Developer Console. And I'll show you how to, in a minute how to do that. But this is the basic main activity, which is called Maps Activity here. Uh, and what it does is that when the app first fires up, uh, you're going to get a callback from the map object saying that the map is ready. 
and then it uh, takes uh, puts the map up on the board and just uh, puts a marker in Sydney, Australia, just to sort of show that the the map object is working. And we're going to run this as is pretty much. But first, as I mentioned, we need to go to this XML file, this Google Maps API XML file. And you'll see that there's a lot of information here. You're going to need some of this to plug into the Google Developers Console. And the Google Developer Console will give you back a key. And then we're going to place that key right here. Now, Android Studio normally does a very good job with directions. But if you read these directions carefully, you're going to get the mistaken idea that you need to put the key over here. But you don't. You really need to put the key we're going to get right over here. And so we'll keep that in mind. But right now, we're going to need to copy and paste two pieces of this uh, into uh, the Google Developer Console. One is the title of the project, which is right here. And then the rest of it is going to be this uh, weird uh, hexadecimal string with uh, colons. So to get to all that, let's open up the Developer Console. Now to get to the Google Developers Console, we're going to type in console.developers.google.com. And we're going to get here, which is now called the API uh, Manager. Uh, you might have a slightly different look when you get here. But uh, what you want to do is you want to create a new project and then uh, assign it the capability to use the Google Maps API. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and create a new project. And I'm going to call this the My Directions Project. Okay, Google has created this project. You can see the name of it here. And now the next thing we need to do is we need to enable the Google Maps Android API for this project. So I'm going to click right here. And then I'm going to go over to uh, Enable. And then I'm going to go over to Credentials to get the key that I need. I'm going to set up here that I need Android credentials. And uh, I'm going to click on this, what credentials do I need? And I can name the key. And uh, I'm going to just call it the uh, My Directions uh, Google Maps key. And uh, here is where I need to put in the package and the uh, fingerprint. And the package, if I go back to our app, this portion right here. And I'm going to paste that in right here. And then this is where I'm going to put that funny looking uh, hexadecimal string. Here is the string that I need to copy. And I'm going to paste that right in there. And then I'm going to say create API key. And uh, you can see that it's created this API key for me. And this is the key that I need to embed into my project. It always starts with the capital letters AI and then the small letters ZA. And we're going to replace that right here between the, the greater than and less than signs. And we're going to paste that right in like that. And now we're ready to go. And we're going to actually uh, build this app right now without making any changes to the main activity. OK, here is the app running on my emulator now. And you can see that the Google Map has been brought up. And indeed, the uh, little marker has been placed in Australia. And I can continue to zoom in. I can move it around and do everything that I normally do with a Google Map. Mm -hmm.